Hey y'all, it's your man Sec this Caps Off Gaming, coming to you live, well recorded, with another Dirty 30. And this is Immortals of Avium. Now, <laughs> Happy New Year, y'all. Um, this is the first Dirty 30 of the year. And um, last year, especially in December, like it's the holiday season, like I would see this game always on my FB. Um, feed it was crazy and I saw someone talk about the game and then they said it's kind of like a Call of Duty but with magic and stuff so I'm interested as you can see I already started a little bit but you know with the dirty 30 I like to come with uh, my first impressions I'm talking about gameplay story and just overall like mechanics and like, how does it feel it's like is it actually fun so play, and um, it deserve extra time. <laughs> it just goes on the backlog. But um, but yeah, let's let's see what's up. I mean, I I've enjoyed it so far, but I'm gonna start with it again and kind of put a more critical eye to it. So um, again, your man Tech this Capsule Gaming. Please like, sub, comment, and share. And we're gonna start a new game right from the beginning. There'll be a little exposition, but you know that's part of the thing. All right. <laughs> so I haven't played this, but I'm gonna go with balanced. It doesn't matter what difficulty you play games at, dog. Like you might be casual, just want to focus on the story, okay? Or you're you're a masochist, but <laughs> I'm gonna go balanced so I can feel all aspects of the game, okay? All right, let's get into it, dog. The game shouldn't be rated on graphics, really, but um, for the most part. What I like about this game is that the graphics look really crisp. And I heard that, oh, here's a story. I'm, I need to shut up, all right? So there's Avium, okay? And then there's a wound and there's five kingdoms. Our rules ignore this. There's an ever war and everyone's fighting the control of magic. There's the Mad Gene. That's from, from Egypt, but they just switched the name. And then it's attached it to English. I mean, to magic. Why they highlighted those things? Moon, Avium, Five. Oh, okay, that's the, that's what's important. Okay, I like that. All right, <laughs> should have did that first. <laughs> I'm I'm playing. I'm playing. All right, here we go. The braided lords of Celtis surrender. And it has to be in British because everything sounds smarter in British. Stripped of magic, the armies of Glavegate fell to Sandra. The bold and terrible Sandrak. That guy looks like Zed from Power Rangers. Okay? Lords that's from Power Rangers, okay? Of their ancestors trumpeted blood in protest. Hardcore. Hush. Yeah, very hardcore, right? Oh, you're just listening to the story. Okay. The Sky Islands. Careful. Oh, it's a, it's it's like it's like one of the it's like when times of war, like you have like the entertainment to keep the morale up. So this is like a play. But Zed looks <laughs> called him Zed. Sadrack. I'm concentrating. Maybe he bores his enemies to death. I'm concentrating. But. Line. <laughs> okay, so it's a it's a campy adventure. So so far, okay. Distracted. Go go go. No one cares about Arsene Norman. Sandrak's coming our way. Got it. Let's go. Okay. I see where the story is going. I mean, I know where the story is going, but I'm further looking at it. Wait up. Like scoundrel here, ends up being hero, I'm thinking those kind of vibes. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it looks good. Like, like look at it, right? Pretty smart, yo. And I'm using my new capture card, so it's 4K all the way. All right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't have to render it. But you can't see my face. That's the only downplay with this. Unless I'm using OBS. Y'all know the dealings, but nah. Just pay attention to the game. 
Alright, so this is home, girl. Luna. After you, yeah. Hey. Okay. How much did we get? We. I provided moral support. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the others made out better. One can hope. Yeah, one can Did hope. Tell you his plans for and dream. He's got in mind up in topside. I think he just likes to say caper. 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 It's a fun word. Feels sneaky. Okay, so my guy has he magic already. But there's something special about him. Them, them no face tattoos aren't on no. some on some cloud chasing. They're not on some cloud chasing. Okay, so you gotta hold on. Right. What was the play about? Um, Kalthus surrendered to Sandrak, and then he burnt all their magna. Alive. Well, that's not nice at Those all. magni, not okay, magi, because that's that's from Egypt. Okay. It's pretty weird. Oh, look at this. Me. I'm gonna say I'm an evil kind. That Sandrek really wants you to think he's capital E <laughs> evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it looks we like I'm, I'm Zed from Power Rangers. <laughs> which is kind of scarier. The tyrant of Rashad. Yeah, right. See? <laughs> Let's cut through the okay, they they have humor like me, so so I like that. Little ma magic magic double jump. Kind of dead tonight. There's talk of a bunch of airships coming into dock. Some hivers probably think they can make easy money unloading cargo. Maybe that's what we should have done instead of stealing from the hat guy. He was a bust. By any metric, a man with a hat indicates a perfectly respectable mark. That sounds. Oh, and everyone uses magic like like nothing. It's like a utility. Everyone has it, but then who has more magic? I think that's where the warrior part comes into. Okay. And they talk so about topside, because you see how the bridge, the people living underneath the bridge, like trolls, maybe. Maybe I don't know. Feels late for it now. You made it late. Because I hate goodbyes. Sure. I get that. Proper face facial modeling really helps with the story. Especially when they're being like sarcastic and you can see it in their face. So I like that about that, about this game. It's really good. Keep it uh, pushing. What's up? Uh, you're in no hurry to get back. No. You're thinking how much you're going to miss this garbage heap. Please. Would you? Don't call my home a garbage heap. <laughs> I don't want to spend my life living above a bottomless hole in the ground, Jack. We don't technically know if the wound is totally bottomless. All signs oh. point to yes. They'll be okay, Luna. This, I'll watch this, over them. That's we wild. So this place is built over this wound in Avium. That the and which is connected to the Everwar somehow. I wish I was paying attention. I, all right, more backstory. Here we go. Target practice? Why not? It's our civic duty as citizens of the Seren Underbridge. Yup, exactly. It's Underbridge. Work. Probably would have made more money clearing off these large barnacles than we did at that play. Fair. You're all about duty right now, aren't you? Okay, so you so everyone can do this. Everyone nice. has magic with different You'll degrees. Make a good soldier. I hear they give better uniforms to the lightless that can summon a little magic like this. There's a war, Jack. It's not about the uniform. Or maybe it's better boots. Cheese, Jack. Wait, what? Soldiers get to eat real cheese. Boots are just extra. And it's and in every story that's important. Rashan's got no Cheese! idea what's coming. <laughs> corporal, I can even buy land. The whole farm just full of boots. <laughs> Look, I know okay. I keep boots saying are important too, so. But I don't. Not really. You're the first person I've met that actually wants to fight in the Everwar. No one escapes the draft, Jack. They do all the Ooh, time. So they draft you into the Everwar? Besides, I don't because want to it's fight ever. I want to fight like for forever. Reason. Exactly the same thing. Just shut up and shoot. Okay. The story's getting interesting. Now I'm paying attention to it. Do I? Can I reload? Yeah, that's how you reload. That's so fire, dog. This is a. Hey, ma'am. I think I shot everything, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't hit that one. All done. Okay. Let's go. 
when they ship you off to fight in the Erba War, where do you think they'll end up sending you? Who knows? Maybe I have just Wait up, man! This is always, always on the move, there, lady. A Magnus gets a There's more lurch bar. You missed that one. But what we do is kind of like. A Magnus is like. Pow! Bing! Yeah. Yeah. Some magic might as well mean no magic, as far as the magna are concerned. This is pretty cool. So far, okay. So magic and mag magi. Well, I'll look into that later. Okay, <laughs> again, dirty thirty. Let's just get through it in terms of play. Uh, can I open this up? Ooh, gold. Okay, reload. All right, cool. Literally living underneath a bridge, and magic is just normal. Like, look at this guy. Like, look at this guy. Yo, it's not moving stuff. You know, just doing my daily chores. You know, float, floating barrels. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Lady, did you see that up there? Okay. <laughs> Smell Fife stew from here. Pretty sure the whole neighborhood can. Is that you know, bad? Everything he cooks tastes vaguely like regret. G regret. <laughs> regret and bad, bad choices. Oh. That's the ingredients. <laughs> Jack. Okay. You know, oh. little, little, no, little, little, little kiddos introduced. Oh. Gotta have that. You're leaving us. Oh, you by the way, our hair is fire. Okay, love the styling on that. Dope. Or you could ignore the draft like a normal person. Happy birthday. Look at that no cloth. one tells okay. me anything. Good. Stop. Have Stop. Me. <sighs> We're officially the worst street thieves in Saren. Hopefully, Caleb redeems us. So they're street thieves, <sighs> but then homegirl wants to be in the Everworld. What the hell is that? Well, I guess we can act like it's cake. Oh no, you're not eating that. Shoo. It's like splooge. Stew's almost ready anyway. Grab us some tubers from up top, Jack. Sure thing. Tubers. Tubers are potatoes. Right? Yeah, the that's what they are, I like think. That you're leaving us. Shut up, you. Alright, so this is the home. Alright. Um, not gonna go into entries again. We're gonna go talk to Luna. What are you cooking over here, bud? Let's let's talk a little bit. What do you put into stew when it's someone's birthday? What? Birthday stew. What goes in it? Yeah, that's not a thing, Fife. <laughs> Want to try it? All right, let me take I a know sip. You eaten all day. No, I'll, I'll take a sip. And it's the snails that really seal the deal. S cargo. That's what. <laughs> You're not escargot, sir. That's what that's called. All right. I'm cultured. <laughs> okay, let's go talk. Let's talk to homegirl here. All right. What are you doing, Rugrat? Stole some posters. Adding them to my scrapbook. Wanna see? Mm -hmm. Sure. But what's what posters you about, man? Posters? It's part of the historical record, Jack. Join the fight. No thanks. This propaganda is going to rot your brain. Is that what happened to Luna? Brain rot. <laughs> Is that why she's joining the Lights Army in the morning and leaving us? She, she wants the benefits, yo. Yes, sir. She's no, not leaving. Sir. Okay, she's no not leaving. Said anything we're we're, we're, we're going to do the, the West Indian no, thing by do. lying. I know you're not. <laughs> <Don't have to laughs> in kids' faces. Me. All right, we're going to do that. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, I'm not leaving. I'm always gonna They're leaving, all right? All right, here's Luna. Oh look, there's a bunch of stuff here. Let let's look let's let's look around first before we talk to her. You know, invade her privacy. Enlistment contract. Let's just see what this is. Okay, so I'm Luna Underbridge, born in the city of Sarah. Do hereby acknowledge that I volunteered this twentieth day of the month of swords. Okay, all right. So she is so and she's gonna serve for about twelve years. Okay, so she had put an enlistment letter in. What's, what's this on the wall? Luna's D. This is for the house, I think. Or just so, yep, so this D is for the house that we're at right now. Okay. So at, at, at least if, if she leaves, 
the, the kids still got a crib. All right. Okay, that's being responsible. I like that. All right, let's keep talking to you. I know you told him. I did not. Well, something's got him all riled. Look, it's not like it was hard to figure out you're leaving. Yeah. You're packing bags, you're crossing out days on the calendar, you're reading big, fat, official-looking books of... What is it this time? The Officer's Manual of Lights, Army Regulations. See? No way that gave away the store, right? <laughs> what are you thinking? Would you rather fight a hundred-foot-tall crab or one hundred one-foot-tall crabs? A uh, hundred-foot, a hundred-foot-tall crab. You should say like a Vecchi crab or a crab crab. Does yeah. it matter? It's a hundred feet tall. Nah, I'm fine. The hundred-foot-tall. At least it's just one thing to deal with versus a hundred one foot. One foot's pretty big, though. Look, I'm seriously okay. decent. Okay. All honesty. Okay. All right, so let's see what we're gonna do here. Um, I'm not gonna really go too much into talking. I already talked about the book. I'm gonna talk about Babs because she did Babs sound pretty going sad. To miss you. It'll be good for her. She'll be in charge before you know it. Already acts like she is. <laughs> She's a natural. Yeah, let's ask about the ma the 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 it's not so, the magot mag nine mag nine in your book. Just yeah, the mag nine. Mag don't have to actually read it. What, like they have their own book? Wouldn't know. That's a different world from ours. The only time the regulations mention the Magni is when it's about how to do exactly what they say because they know best. Psh, you're probably smarter than half of them. <laughs> Magic can't conjure wit. I think we're, we're about that. I think that's common knowledge. Like, if you're from Sarant, maybe because that's like the lower class? I don't know. But we're, we right. gotta keep this pushing. See you at dinner. We'll go eat. You bet birthday dinner downstairs with the s car go all right let's go down okay bring five some tubers says any of them out here do we have an outside garden oh we do have a hey sustainable we get this mini ecosystem inside of here oh this place is this is fly okay grab some tubers aka potatoes all right jack just remember to be super supportive of her when she tells everyone at dinner okay finesse this buddy look at their look at their their their, their, their rainbow coalition family <laughs> you're present such as it is Look at that, yo. What's that in it? The pentasad. No shit. I mean the swirly stuff. Looks like snow. What's snow? <laughs> I don't know. Winter time. Also, shit. Caleb is kind of like. Is he like the leader the or like? Looks pretty. Uh oh. Oh. Caleb. Oh, this guy got bloodied oh, up for yeah. a snow snow I'm globe. Sorry. Move your hand. Let me see. Constable got a lucky shot. I'll be ah. Oh, Damn it, Jack! It's not good. Did they follow you? You got yourself hurt over this thing? Careful, Caleb. Your guts are split. Why didn't you- I didn't want to ruin your birthday at all. That's fine. Man. Jack, come on. We need medicine. I've got an idea. Explain on the way. You guys, watch him. Get the rags and the water okay, and- This is interesting. Him. You know how to do this. I we'll forgot- be quick. I forgot how involved the beginning of the story was. I literally just pushed past all this stuff. Cause I so, wanted to get to the, the gameplay. I'm All right. still making it up, but I'm pretty sure it's this way. You're making it up? It's this jelly. might be a little That's longer it. than 30 because, be you know, the exposition. But I think this is important that a game sets itself up with a really good, like, story that's like that. Can I put that? Yeah! <laughs> Shoot glowy stuff. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> The nobleman buying all the housing in the East Nets in Harrow's Edge. That's the mark. That's a... Uh, what? That's the they'll kill you kind of place, Luna. Noble means rich. Rich means magic. Magic, magic, magic means, means what? what? I don't know. Healing crystals or something. Drugs from Topside. I mean, I don't have a better idea. So we're gonna go rob a rich person. Like, this is so yeah. typical. No, this, this is smart. They say this is old. a typical story. It's a good play. I think that's why this game didn't really. I don't really hear that much of it. It's just 
this kind of thing comes naturally to you. Like, it's so natural, you didn't even know what our plan was gonna be when we headed out, and now, bam! Here's how we're getting out of this. <laughs> it's... The name... It, the, the game story is almost as generic as as the guy's name so far that's what i'm feeling so far so if you want to hear about story that's what i'm looking at like this is a but it's it's a story you could get behind though i could definitely say that i'm doing the early item collecting that'll help you out later on oh where you where you guys are going over there that manor that's where we're going what huh. manor i don't know where you what are you looking at you keep running stop oh that one okay Game face, Jack. Yep. Yeah, I have game face right now. Okay. Hop on this. All right. Okay, what's this? This all the hub of a lot. I don't know what any of this stuff is. What color is life magic? Life magic? Look, I don't know. I think it's green. <laughs> it's Just green. Look for green. That's the, and that's very convenient. The magic is um, it's color coded. Okay, so you so so even the novice will will understand. Okay, I I need that. Okay, color works. Letter from lavender. All right, all of these are so important to read. I guess to get into the lore of the story, it's like playing Bioshock or like like Prey. Well, the, the, the new ver well, even the old one, but the newer version of Prey. You need all the, the reading and the logs to, to help you with the backstory. This place is opulent. Look at this guy. Okay, you did not start the day well. Make up your bed, okay? Make it up. So I robbed the house. <laughs> What's this on the floor? Letter of warning. Let, let, let's, uh, warning me about what? Operation Burn Bridges of Gold. All the Roshanarian sympathizers advised to leave Saren immediately. Okay. Is that something I'm supposed to see? Okay, what are you staring at? Is there anything else around here? I'm looking at other where <laughs> I'm looking at other places now. Anything glowing, I'm thinking it's magic. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh look! Hey, check it out. It's a green button. It must lead to life. Ooh. And this is a sigil. Oh, look at this thing. Is that your definition <laughs> of being careful or? Whoops. Uh oh. Great. Yep. I don't think we're supposed Let's to be go. doing it. Run. Come on, yeah. this way. Yeah, I'm gonna run. I obviously do not have enough. Oh, and the thing's going off. Uh, just for us? Saren's being attacked. Saren's being attacked? Let's get the hell out of here, dog. Air raid. Air raid? You got fly- Well, I mean, it's magic. You gotta have some flying machines. Is that? It's Rashawn. Sandrak's attacking the city. We have to get back to the others. Come on. Oh, We've Zed's attacking the city? <laughs> okay. Art is imitating life? I wonder if it will. So, I mean, look. Oh. Shouldn't hit, shouldn't hit people. Stop hitting people. We've got to get back. Okay, I'm going, man. I'm just trying to help. There's a chance they're not dead. They know what to do in a raid. We made them practice. I, I, I'm did. pretty sure you must have. You the whole time. This, this, this sounds like this is common. Ah. Are you all right? I mean, they had that letter earlier. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Uh oh. Oh, look at that Sarah! That's Sarah! That's him! Sandrak! Uh, AKA uh, Zed from Power Rangers! It's shock. Don't let it in. How are you already a soldier? I'm just acting like I figure they act. Jack! Luna! Come on! Are they right in. Oh! They about to hit the house? 
Yo, I honestly did not pay attention to none of this stuff. I think that's one of the 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 magine. The mag the magni. They blew up the house. Okay. M more motivation. <laughs> yo, the same thing, yo. You aren't done here, asshole. Of course, more motivation. Your homegirl gets blasted by such and such over here, and then and then and then I remember this part. I think this is where he goes Super Saiyan. Okay, cause the tattoos mean some. See, look at him. Look at him. Ah, yo. Everyone charge up with him now. <laughs> okay. Oh man, yeah, he gets this Kamehameha. Oh, let's let's put. Look at it! <laughs> so this is the OP moment! Okay, alright, 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 OP moment! All of a sudden, you got the touch! You got the- You know what, I'm not gonna get copyrighted, but you already know what you Look at this guy! Dog, you killed his family! Everybody! He's going Super Saiyan now! Look at this guy trying to zip around! Dog, he had no idea when he woke up this morning after his cornflakes. He had no idea this was gonna happen. All his bands, his people, look at you. You're zipping around. What are you gonna do? Oh man, you're in my face. Oh, is that that's you, toast? Toast. <laughs> that looked good though, but that's like the OP. That must be like the final weapon at the end. It has to be. You know, you get you get a little taste of it. A lot of games do that. Give you a little taste of the OP weapon, and then take everything away from you. Alright. <laughs> First time, <laughs> Castlevania's <laughs> Symphony of the Night. Alright. So painful at the end of that. They took everything. Alright, I digress. I, I need to chill out. Yeah, everyone's toast, and then the only things left is the, the snow globe. But that gotta mean something, possibly. Okay. Right, I wonder how this is good. What you are. Oh, see, this is another reason why I wanted to get the game. A child. Homegirl from Firefly. The next time it happens, she's it just so sci-fi, like sci-fi magic now. Back from Saren. Okay. But you aren't safe here anymore. I'm just Jack. Grand Magnus because I'm a jack of all trades. You'll Field see. To the Lights Army. I'm ready. Late to all that. Yeah, you saw what I had to do? I had to go Super Saiyan. Come on. <laughs> I know who you are. Seen the posters. Join the fight. Definitely going a little bit over 30. It's a little bit. Because um, I think there's a training you. part that comes, comes up here. So you can kind of see some of the all weapons and everything, too. Does. And those of us lucky enough to be able to... Mm -hmm. So Avium is the place. Is in the center of Avium, there's a scar Politics, because land, of something from the other war opened like a scar in the land, the okay? Well, I'm going to skip ahead of this. So Sandra uh, does look like Zed. I knew it. Okay, so that 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 guy must be like some kind of like lieutenant. The one that I toasted earlier when I went Super Saiyan with the Kamehameha. <laughs> If it approves or not, it's never bothered to tell us. Nothing stands in the center of the scar, supposedly watching over the hole or something like that. And I guess Sandrak is like some kind of ill magic, and he just reversed the thing back. So that guy's that guy's trouble. Trouble. But I'm not a soldier. Yeah, but you got it though. You got the touch. I'll fix that. You got the power, sir. All right. I, I just, I had to go past some of the, it feels like a freaking movie, which is wild. I wonder they pumped the crap out of this. Holy shit. All right, so now you I'm in my soldier training close. with Homegirl from Firefly. This was all a sanctuary settlement of refugees. This is just the smooth. Lines. The end game before it became just another graphics and the cinematics are matching, except for the intro. Training. 
Okay, so I'm gonna learn how to use all my sigils. So this is the first one you get. This one's like a almost like a rifle round thingy. Yeah, that's pretty Again. precise. And I can reload just like that. Oh, is that gold? Okay, cool. Oh. Oh, you don't really have to aim. It kind of locks on. Well, that's good. Oh, good. Oh, I like that. Good. Go to that spell altar there. Okay. It will teach you how to summon a shield. Okay. Wow. Oh, I, th that's why Mag I guess Magnus don't invincible. read. Magna, I don't read. We don't now read. See what you can do. Just learn stuff. So press LB for the shield. Okay. Oh, that's cool. It's real quick. What do we do here? Okay. And I can have the shield up and, and use the magic too at the same time. Oh, that's great. Does my map does my shield run out? Okay, I'm I'm pretty chill right now. Look at that shield. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. I got shield up. Where where are you? Open the door so I can deal with this. So this is red magic now. First red spell and a sigil to harness it. Take them both. Yeah, see, look at that, look at that, right? Fits right on. Breach fire. Yes, neat. Now take the spell. Okay. It, it feels angry. Yeah, fi fire usually do does that. Red magic is particularly violent, but the sigil will bend it to your will. What's going on? All right. Don't allow them to close in on you. If they do, switch to your red magic and blast them back. Know which of your colors. Ah! So red magic is like shotgun magic. Angry. <laughs> Don't get overconfident. The Rasharnians will always have you outnumbered. Okay, the Rasharnians. Yep. All right. This is color coded over here. I know that. Get some more gold. And you switch. Take that <laughs> that's that that's great okay can you switching okay good there's no weapon wheel so I think it's just like actively kind of do the best you can to switch between both of them and stuff so I got a health crystal now do I use it now oh yeah I do use it okay all right some Smooth. spells are not focused through your sigil. Okay. Through a totem. Take that one. What's this? Whoa! I, I can feel it. <laughs> Coiling. What is that? It's a lash. You can use it to pull enemies towards you. Most of them, anyway. Oh, okay. Not so much. This not is so wild. Much. This, this, this is part of the mechanics that I think is amazing. Because if anyone you if any of you played Bullet Storm and that lash, it's the most funnest thing to use in the, in the game. Because you can just start bouncing stuff off of people. Oh, it's gonna get wild. Okay. Watch this. Oh look at that! Come here! Get over here! <laughs> Okay, look at this. Come here. Get over here, dog. <laughs> look at that. Get over here. <laughs> Good enough, man. Dog. <laughs> Positive reinforcement, lady. Of all the Can colors, I get some? Green magic is the most curious. It's the province of spirits. Okay. Of death, life, and transition. Okay. So I got spirits on me. Guessing this spell emphasizes the death part. Hmm. There is a war to win. Okay. All right. So now I got I got this green one, which kind of acts. And again, I told you like this is COD, so like peep peep game. This is like your rifle. Okay. Well, well, rifle. Yeah, like your rifle. This is your shotgun. 
This is like your submachine gun. Okay, so watch. You got peppers, people. Like peppers them. Look at that pepper. Pepper them with a couple of green blasts. Yup. Okay. All right. Cool. Am I all done yet? I'm all done. What's this? Another spell. Animate allows you to manipulate some objects into different shapes. Some. Ooh. How will I know which ones? They have been marked by another Magnus with a glyph. Look for it. Ooh. Find the green glyph on that statue there. Then direct it. Oh, so now I can move. Yeah, because now you can move it. Hey, get low, sir. <laughs> Why is he doing? Okay, I think I can double jump over there. Yeah, there we go. And then double jump. That is a health crystal that I can use. Some more gold. The animation's good. And, and it plays fluent. That double jump is reliable. Definitely reliable. Alright, so where we're at now. Okay. Nope. 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 Use a shotgun. Okay. <laughs> nope. Use a shotgun. Shotgun magic. Am I done with my training yet? Ready yourself. What, what do you mean? Okay. So, oh, uh, oh, little, little, little battle arena. I test all the mechanics all together. Nope. You're not doing that. Oh, so that's... Ah, you see that? Shields! Ah, get you! Okay, yup, good. Yup, doing it. Wait. Come on, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Nope. Nope. Oh, I, ah, there we go. I can good okay that's it right am i done with training I'll grab all this gold go through here am i am i done training this is all so i can join the lights army you already huh? did by accepting a sigil from their field marshal oh. this is training you mean you you just give me one and boom oh okay boom, sir <laughs> then tell me about the order of the immortal, sir. So, but immortal meaning what? Like, are we can't really die? Y'all can't die, or is it like you're so powerful you might as well be immortal? That is a very, very, very convoluted name if you're gonna be calling yourselves that, yo. Very much so. All right. So, observing room gonna complete the training. I'm gonna complete the training. Um. Later on, <laughs> I'm gonna call it right now for the Dirty 30. As far as what I've seen in terms of gameplay, I like the gameplay. It plays really, it plays really fluid. Two, the story is kind of like brown bread. I'm gonna be honest because, you know, the the your your home girl dies, your whole family dies. Supposedly, I don't know. Maybe when we go further in the story, we see something different. But so far, it's been brown bread. Mechanics are amazing. That lash, this joint there, yeah. I'm gonna have fun with that. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun with that. I bet there's more mechanics to go along with that. But besides that, it's your man Technish, Caps Off Gaming. Please like, sub, comment, and share. It's the Dirty 30. I don't know if you should get this or not. I might do an, a long play where you know I go through a mission or a couple of missions. Um, it seems pretty linear. So that's a good thing because, you know, our open world games can be so overwhelming at times. But, yeah, but um, besides that, success is your own, so please celebrate that. And I'll check you on the flip.